character. I'd be really nervous. It's always, I get a nervous rash, so, um, and it's, it's loud, but no, fun. <laughs> Hillary is a, I mean, a gift of a part, and Sam wrote it, you know, it's a very personal part for him. So it was, you know, he experienced, he, he watched someone disintegrate as a child. He was growing up with his, his mummy who battled with this, and so it was a yeah, responsibility. Um, but he was there every step of the way to, to help and guide and hold us by the hand. Well, he zoomed me in my kitchen and I got a message going, Sam Mendes wants to zoom you. I went, what? Yeah. Okay. And then we had this chat and it just, he was so nice. It, was, it felt like we'd, we'd never met before. And then, uh, and he said, I'm writing a film thinking of you. And I just went, yes. I didn't know what it was going to be, but I said yes. Yeah, oh my god, because that place, uh, so the, the cinema with the, the, the screen and the chairs, that had been ripped out years ago, so we put it back, well, we, the incredible art department, Mark Tilsley, um, and he just, it was so beautiful, so sumptuous, and red velvet, and a real event going to the cinema, and it did bring back the sort of, oh my, we should do this more, it's so amazing, and Margate was, you know, you open the doors of the cinema and you're right on the seafront, um, it was, yeah, a really beautiful Stephen. time. I think Stephen is an incredible, hopeful man. You know, he's got a lot of promise. Um, he's very well educated. He's very well brought up by an amazing mother. Um, you know, the fact that he has, aspires to do architecture, you know, he's just a different kind of guy. And the music he listens to and all of that kind of stuff. He's just an amazing kid with, um, you know, like I said, a lot of promise. And he just loves love, you know. he. Is like where a lot of people would go away from a situation, Stephen leans in. Like when you know Hillary starts to deteriorate in front of his eyes, he doesn't want to leave that situation. He wants to help her. So I think that um, shows you the heart of Stephen. You know, he's a good guy, which we don't really see much of young black kids in cinema as much anymore. Um, for me, it was super exciting. I haven't worked with um, you know actors like that yet in my career. Although I've worked with some amazing actors, just not like that. So for me, getting to work with um, all of these people, as well as you know, even the the people in departments, you know, the sound and um, the costume and stuff like that, you know, it's just a plethora of knowledge which I'm so happy to have learned. I mean, incredible. He's an incredible person as well, and he's an incredible artist. Very, very. Um, good at communicating what he wants, um, which makes it easier for us as actors, and also very good at creating an environment for us to just be as real as possible, which is what I love to, uh, what I love about acting. I'm super excited, man. I feel like it's a beautiful film. It's a necessary film um, at this time. You know, it addresses a lot of issues, um, as well as just beautiful, um, beautifully um, put together, you know. Um, yeah, man, I just want people to see it and enjoy it, and I hope they do. Thanks. Amazing. It feels amazing to be here tonight. This is my first ever premiere, ever. First red carpet, so I really know what I'm doing. But just taking it all in, and so far, so good. But um, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm like, but I'm so happy to be here with this film. This film means so much to me and to everyone who was part of it. And it was the best time of my life filming it, genuinely. I'm not just saying that. Um, it was really special and um, it was a really beautiful experience so I'm just happy that this is, you know, felt really safe so this is nice, it feels amazing, yeah, amazing. Working with Olivia Coleman, Colin Firth, Toby Jones, um, Michael Wald, Tom Brook, um, mental mental and amazing i learned so much everyone was so kind and it was incredible i feel like we were all singing from the same hymn sheet everyone felt like they fit even though we're all kind of mismatched in a weird way it, all the characters in it are kind of a weird mixture of kind of outcasts in their own way and i feel like we all fit in really well and I feel like as a as a group it was very easy. It's very easy. So it was amazing. Janine to me is at a really interesting time of her life. She is um, kind of on the precipice of like change and growing and understanding who she is. And I think it's really interesting that we meet her when she is um, like around 18. So it's kind of that's a really important time of our life and I think 
you find she finds a kind of uh, unity and um, safety in the group that she, at work. But I also think she is quite nice because you, she doesn't know what she wants to do with her life. She doesn't know who she is. She's trying to figure it all out. And we meet her at that point where she's like, "You don't tell me who I am. I don't know. I don't know who I am, but you're not getting to tell me." So it's really nice. Um, and she's super interesting, so much fun. And she's taught me a lot to have more fun, I think. And she's so brave and bold and feisty. I love her, I love her. Being directed by Sam was so amazing. I was so nervous to meet him during my audition process. And within about five minutes, I just felt so relaxed because he's so lovely and kind and unjudgmental. And it was the same on set, it felt very, calm actually and we were all we all just understood kind of what what we wanted if I had any questions it was fine and he's just he's incredible you don't need me to say that but he is and he's so kind and lovely I love started him. Sam I mean I, I I did one day on a on a film with Sam a few years ago one scene in uh, 1917 and it really left me wanting more I just thought it, it felt like a tease so when Sam came back uh, and said, you know, I wasn't wasn't exactly the character I thought I'd be playing or what I had in mind, but um, it, it, I thought it was a beautiful story, and uh, I enjoyed playing the character and everything else about it. Yeah. This is a film really about. It's obviously not about him. It's about um, the character of Hillary chiefly, and a series of experiences while she struggles with mental health problems. Uh, and the things that, you know, some of the really dark stuff that she has to deal with in our unfortunately Mr. Ellis is part of that. So that, that, it was my job to represent that. Uh, and there are other beautiful things that happen and the, the, obviously the theme of, you know, pinpoints or rays of light that come through some very dark uh, themes. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, so it, it, it's quite a kind of complicated ecosystem really. You know, it's about the things that can help and about the things that hurt. One of the reasons I wanted to do it is because Rosemary Bates is quite pivotal, actually, to the story. Um, in t just in terms of what happens, I don't want to give too much away, but um, she's, she's a social worker and she's met Hillary before, and you have a sense that Hillary has a past with her. Well, it was really extraordinary. Actually, um, it was so powerful. When I watched it, I saw the film on um, Sunday morning and it, she was so powerful in it. I remember on the day when the camera was on her and I had to say my lines off camera, I remember drying because it was just, it was just so intense. Um, and also seeing the film, you see sort of all the bits that they did, all the scene that they do before we came in and you think, oh my word, she was sustaining that level of energy and, and that level of trauma really for a couple of days uh, because that's how long the scene took to shoot. I think it's important to see it in the cinema because, well you'll see from the first scene, just when the lights all start to go on in the cinema and it's about the cinema, um, it, it, I think it's really lovely to have that landscape and that view and it's a big film with big resonances and big themes, so see it on the big screen. I've always wanted to come to the London Film Festival, uh, I've, I've always booked tickets, I've always watched movies here, uh, to be on the other side of that is very, very special and I'm not taking it for granted at all. Neil is a lovely, gentle, kind person, um, he is supportive of other people, he's thoughtful, um, I want more Neils in the world. Fun, some jobs are. Most jobs are, some jobs aren't, but to be honest, there are very few. Uh, this was just a lovely time. Um, you know, when you're, when you're in a place, Margate, incredible place. Um, we were right on the beach uh, and got to know all the people in the hotel and the restaurants nearby. And, you know, you just hang out for a lot, for a long time, and it's lovely. And he's so good, Sam, at casting, I think. 
I, I realised that I'm not including myself in that, but the fact that he, I feel like he passed it so that he had a bunch that would get on for three months, and we did. The one that I remember the, the most from Sam is, it, it's not, um, it wasn't from this job, it was from the last job I did, which was King Lear at the National. Um, and he said, there's no right or wrong. There's only interesting and less interesting. And I just thought that was such a clever, thoughtful, open way of, of saying, it's all right to get things wrong. Because there is no wrong. There's just, so when you got him going, oh, that's interesting. You knew you'd got him. You know, you knew you'd got something to keep. So you were always looking for the, oh, that's interesting. And uh, got a few of them, yeah, it's great. Mental health, uh, I mean, especially these days, uh, things are, people are, people are having a, a difficult time of it. And um, I feel like those sort of stories can, must always be told. Uh, I met a lady called Lisa down there on the, on the carpet. Who, who had only seen the trailer but had really connected with that side of it and it really touched me. Um, I think that I, I just want, I want those stories to be told more uh, and this, this story is told incredibly well by her uh, as we would expect uh, but nevertheless she's absolutely extraordinary. Um, yeah, I think that